hi to Chaco. Sheik in the red, Melancholy in the blue. Let's move in a few pixels to the right. There, perfect. Red versus blue, finals, perfect. Everything perfect. Okay, everything is perfect. I've never seen an overlay that perfect, besides normally. How much subs do we, uh, are we currently? Uh, can I see the summary easy? Oh, wow, what the fuck, guys? What the fuck, guys? I have 97 sub points and 92 subscribers. Did I miss some more subscribers that did like a tier two or tier three subscriber? I don't know how, how I have 97 subscriber points. I only remember like once or twice getting like a tier two or tier three subscriber. So I'm not sure why I have so much more subscriber points than extra subscribers. But uh, anyway, thanks all of you guys, of course, for supporting me. I'm al almost at 100, guys. Almost at 100 sub points. I think I'll get a new emote at 100. But this is already my new high score to, you know, from what I know. Maybe it's... Thanks to 1.29 as well, of course, that just got released today. I got um, a lot of subscribers today. So, so yeah. Do we have anything special, by the way? We have uh, Archmage against the... Uh... Late hero, that's special. Is he going for a tavern hero? Is he going for a Dreadlord? This is something I don't know. I cannot tell you guys. Of course, I could tell you guys, but that would, you know, that one wouldn't be a surprise anymore. Surprise! We have a Dreadlord! Surprise! Uh, are you guys surprised? We saw a Dreadlord earlier in the tournament against someone else. He goes Dreadlord Beans. <laughs> I am surprised, guys. I'm not sure if you guys are surprised. I'm definitely surprised. Dreadlord and Fiends, that is definitely a uh, surprise to me. This is, uh, I'm surprised. Uh, is he going for like sleep and carrion swarm? Is that a strategy? <laughs> is this, or maybe it's just faking it? Maybe he's still going for tavern hero, and he's just like, yeah, I mean, uh, Chaco, I'm faking him dreadlord to make your stream extra surprising. But no, it it seems like he's not going for the tavern. He's going for the dreadlord, guys. Whew. The dreadlord is about to be born. Me over here, the archmates. 10 flame caster. He's almost level 2. He is almost there, guys. He is killing a Myrtle. He picks up. Uh, does he pick up the manual? Will he pick it up? He picks up a manual. That's nice. And he kills a Murloc. That's also nice. Is he, uh, by the way, not going for an expansion? Let's see. He is creeping over there. Maybe he's still planning to go for the expansion, but it doesn't make sense to go all the way over there and then all the way over there, right? If he wanted to go for an expansion. I mean, maybe you want to creep this, and then this, and then this, or something? Oh well, he's creeping this creep cam now, he's killing some little wizards, he's killing a rogue wizard as well. Meanwhile, the Dreadlord with the Fiends. <laughs> this is so amazing, man. Dreadlord and Fiends in the finals, I... I wouldn't have guessed it. Like, like last patch, it would be impossible. This would never happen. But this is not last patch, guys. This is 1.29. Welcome, everyone. 1.29 the dreadlord kills the horsey guy picks up a gloss of haste and he's killing now this ogre warrior and this ogre warrior is dead now we have a level 2 dreadlord and again he he doesn't pick the aura of course because he's he has fiends like vampiric aura not that crazy when you don't have melee units in fact it's pretty bad like i mean the dreadlord himself of course is melee uh the, the these guys are melee skeletons is what they're called but besides that, no melee units, so uh, yeah, carrying swarm and sleep it is. He got the, the first game, he ended it with an Inferno. So maybe we'll see that again. Inferno end. And here comes Team America, guys. They have an Archmage, level 3 Archmage, a Ring of Regeneration. And, you know, it's not that great on the Archmage, but he is going to harass while building this expansion. And what is this? A Necropolis. Is he going for his own expansion? He's still a tier 1. So it definitely looks like he's going for an expansion. There's a reveal used just to see what the... Because he hasn't seen a Death Knight, right? He knows something is up. He sees tier 1. Now he knows even more is up. He's like, okay, do we get on that expansion? Well, yeah, that's what we do, guys. That's what we do, Team America. Team USA. That's what we're, you have to face. Can Team USA... Can USA defeat a Dreadlord? Well... And we're gonna find out this game. Meanwhile, the skeletons here killing Cobalt Taskmaster. We have a nice item on the floor. He picks it up. He also picks up the Pendant of Energy. So much mana now for these Carrion Swarms and for these Sleeps. One of them is level 2. I wonder which one he picked at level 2. Uh, let's see. Yes. That was a level 2 Carrion Swarm, wasn't it? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was level 2 carrying swarm. So he has level 1 sleep. He moves so fast with the boots. And of course the extra movement speed that he got with this patch. Hello. New patch. 20 extra movement speed. Boots of speed. 60 extra movement speed. Look at him move. So fast. He kills a footman. Down is under siege. But we have some fiends defending here. Do we have defend? The footman uh, don't have defend. Oh they do have defend. Uh, what is the dreadler doing? This wizard is uh, being annoying. The expansion did get cancelled. The wizard is still alive. There's another um, the thing. Carrion Swarm. This fiend is... Uh, is he going to die? There's no coil. Remember, Dreadlord cannot cast coil. That's something that might surprise you. Because you normally you see that uh, Death Knight and he can coil. Dreadlord cannot coil. The fiend is going back. And that sleep saves this fiend. And this, look at the Dreadlord with his wings, with his movement speed. Just hunting down his footman. This footman, is he going to die? Yeah. He knows his other one is over there. And again, the expansion got cancelled again by this Archmage and the two uh, Water Elementals. He also killed Mr. Acolyte. And he is rebuilding Acolytes. Is he getting more fiends? No, he's tacking actually. Okay, he's tacking. I mean, he has Necropolis anyway, so... You don't need it anymore to build more Acolytes. This Mr. Goldbine, which is his name, he's hunting down his footman. Does he get the kill? He does get the kill. Nice kill. These fiends are still alive. And this expansion, of course, up and running. He's attacking now himself, uh, Uzeus. Melancholy, yes. And this footman takes a bit of damage. This ghoul is still alive, guys. He's still alive. Nice ghoul. Nice uh, alive-age by the ghoul. <laughs> nice creep spread by Zerk. It is, uh, yeah. I mean, these are like the, the uh, Zerklins. Dreadlord lost a bit of man. Oh, he kills the hermit crab for some skeletons, I assume. Or maybe just for fun, but I don't know for sure. The fiends, I mean... The fiends here are pretty low on hit points. Oh, <laughs> carry for my ass, guys. This is something we've never seen before. Dreadlord level 4 staffs home. He has level 2 sleep now. So sleep is now 65 mana, I think. Or is it 60? Let's see, level 1 should be 80 now. Level 2, I think 65. And level 3 is 50. These footmen right clicking the, clicking the Dreadlord is very nice. Does he get a Slaughterhouse? He's a tier 2. Or a Death Knight, or both. He needs some healing. <laughs> There's not a Carrion Swarm. So much damage done by the Carrion Swarm. But the Dreadlord, ow, pretty low on his uh, on health. I bit on my lip. That hurts, Chaco. Stop biting on your lip. This Acolyte takes a bit of damage. Can he kill the Acolyte? He can't kill it. The Archmage just kills it. This Fiend here takes a bit of damage. This Dreadlord. Level 4 Dreadlord. He's killing... Oh, nice. Does he kill the Footman? With uh, his attack with this Claws. Yeah, he kills it. This Fiend is my code back. What a game, guys. Colbean. He is quite powerful. And he gets rid of the water elemental. And his footman is also dead. I'm not sure if he got XP for that or if the tower killed it. Maybe he doesn't want a dreadlord, uh, the death knight. He wants a level 6 dreadlord. He wants that uh, infernal. There's a wizard over there. Oh, wizard Chan is going down, guys. There's another one over here hiding behind the, the shop. I didn't see him. And neither does the Sheik, but now he noticed him, and now he kills him. So nice. So nice, because he realized this uh, wizard must be lonely after having lost all his friends. So that was a mercy kill, guys. Mercy kill by Sheik. Meanwhile, we have an Archmage. Do we have anything else here yet? We have a Mountain King. We have a Shredder here. We have a uh, Blacksmith upgrading attack. We have nothing over here. Okay, so... Let's go to the castle. There's a workshop. Okay, nice, nice, nice. This uh, this fiend takes a bit of damage. Dreadlord super long hit points. This fiend is slowed by the creeps, I guess. And he will retreat now. And he saves this fiend. Ow. Well, that's what sleep does for you. Sleep's the opponent's archmage who has so much DPS. And then he cannot kill your units. And now he's going uh, to try to cancel this again. With the footman with the water elementals. And we have a statue now, finally. He buys a healing potion as well for the Dreadlord and used it. Eclides, uh yeah, I don't think he... Okay, the sleep. Um, okay, carry Swarm is did enough though. There's another sleep. There goes one water metal. I think it... <laughs> I'm not sure if he cancelled it, but it did go down. 
XP interior is Michael back beautifully. There goes the water elemental. And can he cancel it one more time? Yeah, easy peasy. Again, I'm not sure <laughs> if he canceled it. I think so, right? No, did he? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Does it matter? Yeah, it probably does matter, but this fiend is going on the blight. He's dead, guys. These storm bolts are just killing everything. He, he should be able to dodge the storm bolt with the info potion. Okay, no storm bolt thrown. No storm bolt thrown. He should uh, pretend to throw the storm bolt on the dreadlord and then cancel the animation and uh, cancel the storm bolt throw. Then he will force the info potion to be used and then he can use it later. Maybe on a fiend or on a dreadlord, but uh, he just uses it on the fiend. And of course, this hot gold mine is being remade. There's another fiend, there's another statue. Here's the mountain king and the archmage going for the fiend. And the fiend does go down. We almost have another storm bolt. Is he gonna. Oh, he just storm bolts him from the, the front. But is that enough to kill him? No! If only the mountain king didn't run away, maybe he could have just uh, killed him. He, he would have lost his mountain king, but. Now he lost his Mount King as well. Uh, I assume there was level 3 Carrion Swarm. There's no way he picked level 3 Sleep here. And the uh, Dreadlord, is he going to die? The Archmage does a lot of damage. <laughs> the Archmage TP's out. Okay. Or Staff's out, I should say. Right, there was just a Staff, not a TP. Staff of Teleportation. It means that he can Staff out to his base very safely. And do we get tanks? Because tanks, you, you might think, oh, Dreadlord, oh, I'll just go tanks. No. Dreadlord now, Carrion Swarm kills tanks, guys. Carrion Swarm hurts tanks. Because uh, Carrion Swarm got upgraded. I guess the beetles. Carrion Swarm is uh, some kind of uh, is insect attack, right? I don't actually know exactly. A Carrion Swarm, the exact meaning, like the, the literal meaning, isn't that like a swarm of Carrions? I don't know what a carrion is, but I assume it's some kind of insect. So, in other words, these carrions, they 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 got to upgrade. Now they can buy through tanks. They can buy through armor, through fortified armor. Well, not fortified, not all fortified armor, not buildings like these buildings, but through the tanks. A player's forces are under attack. Okay. Well, the archmage. Oh, do, do, do he has an info potion? He should be fine. Hopefully we'll see level 6 Dreadlord, but I'm not sure yet if we will. Uh, you know what I like? Second hero now. <laughs> For, uh, oh yes, second hero. It's a second Dreadlord. How is that even possible? And another one. Three level 5 Dreadlords. Kappa. Spot elemental takes some damage. He's, he's gonna get more XP. Oh, did he get, not get the XP? Did this guy purge him or something? I think this guy purged the water elemental. And the Dreadlord did not get XP. The carrion is decaying flesh of dead animals. Oh, okay. Interesting. There's a destroyer. There's another one. We have a paladin here as well. Two destroyers. This fiend. Okay, the paladin is sleeping. The fiend is dead, guys. The dreadlord. He is going to be just fine. He has an info potion. He should be fine. Okay. Yeah. There's a carrion swarm. And there's a holy light. You see, that's exactly the same amount of damage. Carrion swarm is 200 damage. Holy light heals for 200. And tanks in his base and GG's. Okay, yeah, nice game, guys. Who is that melancholy? He's a uh, USA player. We've seen him before. Oh, the colors are switched. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not killing, kidding you guys. Let's switch the colors. Okay, melancholy. He is now in the red. Chic. He is now in the blue. Okay. I mean, these stones here on the left bottom side, they look very beautiful. If I could line out my text so that every line of text is like on one line of, of stone, that would be beautiful, right? It would be too much to do right now, but especially on OBS where I cannot change the spacing between the lines. But that would be beautiful. I'll think about it, guys. Thank you for the suggestion, even though I suggested it myself. That is changing to 1.292, if so, when? Yes, but we don't know when yet, maybe one or two weeks. That is still good for Europeans also, since you can use ping accelerator, true, true. There's an Archmage, there's an Archmage for Melancholy. And what do we get here? A Death Knight, that's not a Dreadlord, hello, chic. 
Don't you know about the new meta? Okay, he doesn't know about the new meta. He doesn't know. There's a death knight. Apparently ping is much better in 1.29 for a lot of people. Yeah, I heard they reduced the ping to only 50 uh, ms or the latency. I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know exactly what it means, but uh, I think it means you have better ping now. Here comes the Death Knight. The Archmage picks up some items. He has a uh, Gloves of Haste. He has a Cloak of Shadows. This one metal has 10 hit points. He takes care of it. Can American players play on Netties? Anyone can play on Netties. Uh, there goes a the Peasant. But you do need a ping accelerator. But really everyone needs a ping accelerator unless you live in China. Even the Koreans use ping accelerators to play on netties. This Archmage is quite uh, powerful, so it's a Death Knight. Death Knight with 25 XP now. He killed one peasant. The Archmage, he, uh, is he going for an expansion? Yes, here come the Militia guys. Together they stand strong. The Archmage, the Footman, the Water Elemental and the Militia. Together they form this team. Let's call it Team USA because you know melancholy is from the USA this footman here he is uh, you see he's like a he's a go-getter he, he probably he was a American football player when he was in his uh, teenage years there's a coil it gets the water elemental this water elemental over here is doing just fine he's going for the skeleton death knight has more coils but you can coil a rock column so the archmage does get a rock column picks up a Scroll of the Beast, okay, you know, not amazing item, but maybe you can use it later. There goes a footman, the Archmage level 3. There's some skeletons here to kill for the Archmage, and that's what he does. He's killing, he's killing skeletons. This skeleton, this last skeleton, also goes down the Death Knight. He has uh, 107 XP, he gets another peasant. Arr! 132 XP now. That's nice. We have four footmen and Archmage. This fiend here is retreating slightly. No, it's full out retreat. Yeah, full out retreat here by the fiend. He's doing his best retreating from battle. And the Archmage is hunting down the Death Knight. And he has the Scroll of the Beast. So if he gets a chance to get into the Undead base, he can use that Scroll of the Beast on his footman and the Water Elementals and do a lot of damage. Is she, is she taking... Did he take too much damage on the, uh, on the Death Knight? Here he comes. Does he use the Oh, he does use the scroll. First summons the water elemental, so he also gets a bonus, of course. The skeletons go down so fast, 25% faster than without the scroll. And there's a, the tier 2. And he can buy healing potions now. The Archmage, maybe with a few shots, can he kill the Death Knight? He's doing his best. The Death Knight just buys the healing potion just in time. And he is surviving for now. The one footman is dead. Did he send. Uh, no, okay. Uh, a lot of footmen dying here. And the Death Knight. Oh, the. Okay, he uses TP. Healing Potion is a cooldown, of course. He can buy one, but okay, he can also GG out. Okay. Is Sheik. What is Sheik doing? Is Sheik losing to USA, guys? Or humans fast expand now and then go to Undead Base. Build Spirit Tower in front of base. Imho. Hi. Why are you still there, Chaco? Because we're casting my cup. Hello. The Hide to Chaco League Qualifier 3 on Battle.net 1.29. I'm a professional viewer. Yeah, well, glad to have some professional viewers here. We have an uh, Archmage here for Melancholy. Of course, a professional streamer can only become be a professional streamer if he has professional viewers, right? You cannot be a professional streamer without professional viewers. The professional viewers make the professional streamer. Just like viewers make a streamer. You cannot be a streamer without viewers. You, yeah, I guess in, uh, technically you can, but not really, right? I mean, if the recording is never seen, did you ever even record it, right? It's, it's the same question. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is there to hear it, did the tree make a sound? Not really. So if your recording wasn't seen by anyone or your, your live, record, live stream, then it was never broadcasted, guys. The Archmage here, 144 XP. The Death Knight level 1, Duke Dreadmore. I'm also a professional viewer as well. Of course, a lot of you are professional viewers. Uh, there we have another professional memer here. I'm a professional sub-gifter. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, that's nice, yeah. This uh, this death knight over here was with the skeleton. The Archmage, he's just going for this creep camp. He wants maybe level two from the creep camp. But Mr. Death Knight, Duke Dreadmore, does he have anything to say about this? Like just Norb root, 192 XP, uh, hit points, I mean. And he gets rid of the water elemental, nice, 42 XP. He attacks the Archmage here. Endermath gets hit by skeletons. That's nice. It's Death Knight uh, on the right side. The skeleton kills the sheep. There goes the Nord. Archmage is level 2. Does he pick up the Tome of IQ? He does pick it up. He does pick up the Tome of IQ, guys. This Nord is also gone, guys. Okay. A professional lurker. <laughs> professional chocolate supporter. So many professionals in my chat. Taco flavor key. I'll thank you properly after this game. There is there's some more skeletons. So we have four skeletons here and a death knight. And of course an andromath who is pretty powerful. Some militia as well. The militia killing the trapper. The archmage here with water metals and the footman going for this forceful trapper over there. Death knight. Can he get the last? Yes, he gets the last shot on the trapper. The archmage kills another trapper. And the death knight now at 90 XP. There's one level 3 and one water elemental, of course. That's 90 exactly. This death knight takes so much damage. Is he is he just taking too much damage again? And he doesn't get the ogre. Doesn't get the water elemental. Uh-oh. No, Sheik. Don't make this a 3-0. Sheik, this is the finals. Please don't lose, Sheik. Sheik. Players forces are under attack. I want the exciting finals. Hello. The skeletons here going for this peasant. The peasant gonna, gonna get some gold. He has some gold. Peasants here against the skeletons. I mean, yeah. And the Archmage. Okay, maybe if you can snipe the Archmage. The Archmage is under 70 hit points. A coil will kill him now. Actually, he's over 70. But uh, if he was under 70, in theory, you know, he would, he would die to a coil. The Archmage is hiding here. It's Death Knight. He wants to snipe that Archmage. Can he get him? Can he get that Archmage? Archmage buys the regeneration scroll. He's now at 110 hit points. And a nice pause here by Sheik, guys. Lag. Lag is what he has to say. Ping. He has 103 milliseconds. But, you know, that doesn't mean... You know, he can't... Ha he could maybe just have a lag spike or something. I have 50 milliseconds. What? There's definitely lag. Look at the start of the game. I only had 10. You see this? And now I have 15. It went from 10 to 15. I should I should uh, write a letter. I should write a letter to someone. Okay, down to 13. It's better. No one else uh, has it being changed. Okay, now I can thank my subscriber. Uh, woo, and where was it? Of course, I have it open. Here. Oh, never mind. We'll do it after the game. Sorry, go. Okay, we have a fiend here. This fiend walking over the water. Or, you know, not over the water, through the water. Can he find the Archmage? No, the Archmage is hiding. He wants the first Toshetta Priest. He wants it and he will get it. There he is. Higher first or shadow priest. He's gonna click this button or the hotkey for this button. Anytime now. Does he have the money? He's building an expansion, so maybe he doesn't have the money. Let's see. He has uh no he doesn't quite have the money yet. This footman is he going to die? There's a periapt. Does he pick it up? Maybe the, maybe pick up the periapt. The death knight here without mana here. And some fiends killing peasants. If he can get level two, that would be nice. He kills a peasant. He has 140 XP. He needs 60 more XPs, guys. We have three fiends and a death knight. Death knight is almost level two. Death knight is almost level two, guys. Death Knight is doing a great job here. He's almost level two. <laughs> more, more, more uh, subs. Thank you all. 
Well, thank you. I'll, I'll give you Taco Flav Kisses after the game. There's Nova on the Fiends. There's another attack on a fiend. Can he uh, buy a healing potion or something? Or no, he's waiting for the statue. He doesn't want to wait 150 gold if he will get the statue soon anyway. At this point, it is statue time, guys. Statue times. Statue time. Do we get a statue time? There's a statue. Okay. Uh, this bottle of metal slowed a little bit. Oh, we, the sheep is over there. Yeah. Death Knight does he give the orb to the Lich? He does give the orb to the Lich. And it's time to uh, kill some humans. And let's see. that uh, The Koi on the, cool, uh, on the skeleton. Interesting choice. Save the skeleton. I mean, what else are you going to do with level 1 uh, coil? There goes a water elemental. And he's going for the next water elemental. Can he get the kill? He does get the kill. 78 XP. Death Knight now level 2. There's just some statues, two statues. There's another another destroyer again. Some lag, I guess, is what he's saying. Um, I wonder if there's something. Okay, let me quickly go to my... Uh, okay, I have to scroll up. Apparently, unless there were no messages. I guess new, new subscriber. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, gifting subs. Okay. Uh, Brands gifted a tier one sub to Senator Chest. This is the first... Uh, gifts up in the in the channel for Brancis. Thanks a lot, Brancis. I think you gave another one, right? Brancis, he gave one to Siege Tank X as well. So, thank you for the beautiful support, Brancis. And and um, welcome to Jacko Bell, Senator Chess One, and of course Siege Tank X. I know you guys want taco flavored kisses. And can I give them right now? Can I give you guys some taco flavor keys right now? Yeah, let me just do it real fast. Uh, first senator. There are your taco flavor keys, senator, with extra ketchup. I know you like ketchup on your tacos. I know this is kind of strange, but uh, that's what you like. And um, Siege Tank X, I think you have to wait a moment for your taco flavor keys. They're still in the oven. Uh, nice Nova, I know you don't normally put uh, tacos in your oven, but you know, your tacos are also kind of kind of special. This fiend is retreating with two destroyers. Two destroyers and three fiends. Is this enough? Enough. No, it's not enough. And we have another gift sub. I'll read this one in a second. This fiend is still alive, guys. Do we have another coil? We'll have another coil soon. Does he drink the water elementals? He he does drink the water elementals, at least one of them. This water elemental very low. It does go down. The lich is almost level two. And these units are uh, they're not that strong actually. There goes the ogre mauler. There goes the more more subs, guys. <laughs> thanks thanks, Francis, for gifting so many subs. There goes the first shadow priest. This fiend is he in trouble? We have another coil. Level two coil. Is that gonna be coiled? There, nice coil on the fiend. And this doesn't look that great anymore for Melancholy, guys. Melancholy is retreating. We have a Mud Golem for Melancholy as well. Does he have enough towers, though? He has Masonry level 1. He is getting Masonry level 2. But we only have two Destroyers. And I think you can just hold against two Destroyers. Unless he has less towers in his main. Oh, he only has two towers in his main. It's time for Sheik to go to the main. And to, to just destroy it. He kills the Muddy. Muddy, the Mud Golem is down, guys. Okay, do we have... There is a statue. There is a statue. Statue is on its way. So he can go for a third destroyer. Or fourth even, because he has another one over here. Right? Yeah. Does he have two, two of these? Yeah, he has two slaughterhouses. The fiend is very low. Death Knight level 3. Hello, <laughs> statue. <laughs> He should easily be able to destroy this base. With three destroyers now. He can, and he can even get the first one. He doesn't even need the first one. Probably the mana and health is better. Of the statue. There goes uh, a fiend though. And the destroyer also went down. Is this the uh, defense of America guys? Nova on the Mountain King. This fiend is taking so much damage. He kills it. Death Knight is still alive. And this is level 3. Level 2 Nova would be nice. And the Mountain King just dies to a Nova. And we have two destroyers now. And a fiend here just killing stuff. 
And what is the human doing? What's the melancholy doing? He's getting uh, arcane sanctums. Thanks for even more subs here. Tier 2 sub even. Uh, by Francis. The Lich is level 3. Death Knight is level 3 as well. Destroyer is killing a peasant. <laughs> These peasants are dying very fast, guys. Peasants are... You know, the Archmage here is doing just fine. Oh, he buys some uh, mercenaries. Not going to be enough, but it's going to be a nice try to defend this base with the militia, with the berserkers, with the mountain king showing up in a moment. Do you have a coil? Yeah, nice coil on the destroyer. You can drink the water elemental. That's what he does. And the mountain king is back, but you know, berserker chan is dead. Death Knight is doing just fine. The mountain king is still alive. I mean, is he going to die? Yeah, he's going to die, but he was alive for a little bit. The mountain king, uh, Death Knight now level four. Death Knight, uh, uh, GG. <laughs> GG sequences and it's not going to be a 3-0 guys. We have a 3 and 1 and Melancholy is in the red. Okay, nice. Sheik at 1 point. Melancholy at 2 points. His best of 5. If Melancholy wins, he just needs to win one more map to win this best of 5. He Not only does he win 20 euros, he also wins the spot in the main cup guys. This is just a qualifier. We already, already had Happy qualify. We already had Lucifer qualify. And now we have another player going to qualify. It's either going to be Sheik or Melancholy. One of these players is going to qualify. I have my Orb of Fire account. Oh, you have your Orb of Fire back again. Justin went bananas. Oh yeah, I forgot. You had that uh, second account. Twenty euros. How much is that in Fahrenheit? Uh, 128 Fahrenheit. Who's Chaco? I'm Chaco. November last year, Sheik beat Chaimiko. He really should be able to win this. Maybe he lost his skills. Okay, the Death Knight is out, guys. Any way to zoom? You can zoom in like this and like this. But you cannot zoom out. There's a Death Knight, Duke Dreadmore. Here we have the Mountain King first. Oh, Mountain King first here for Melancholy, guys. That is exciting because uh, I think so far we've only seen Archmage first, right? In this best of five. The first game was the Dreadlord. And uh, against the Archmage. And since then it's just been Archmage against the Death Knight. So now we have a nice Mountain King against the Death Knight. He kills a little piggy. <coughs> Some skeletons here. Death Knight and skeletons. Oh, look at this surprise. Surprise Stormbolt for units around. No, it's not gonna happen. The four footmen here and a Mount King. There's another foot footman. Here come the militia. And there's another footman. Maybe your re resolution uh, settings. You need to change the re your resolution settings, Walker. The Mountain King and the Footman going for this creep camp. The Death Knight, of course, with the two skeletons. Does he go for fiends, by the way? No, he's going for ghouls. Is he going for double crypt? Oh, he's going for gargoyles, of course. Here they come. There's a nice coil on this troll. So that means he has 48 XP. This uh, Mountain King doing just a good job. This peasant, very low hit points. Does he kill it? There, he kills it. This ogre, 183 hit points. He wants to snipe it with a coil. Does he get it? Yes, this man, this Death Knight, so much XP. Hello, almost level two. Just two more peasants. He kills one, and the Mountain King does pick up the Ring of Protection. Not a great item, but he'll take it. This ghoul is probably dead, but he will kill a few more peasants in return. Sheik will. He kills one peasant, and these two peasants also going to die, guys. What is happening with Team USA? Is Team USA falling apart? Nice Stormbolt on the ghoul, and he kills the ghoul. The Death Knight is still alive, but here comes Militia Flank Attack. Death Knight is level 2 now. And the Mountain King Stormbolt on another ghoul. Can he save the ghoul? He's trying to save the ghoul. Does he save the ghoul? No, the, I mean, yes, of course. The ghoul is so slippery. He just gets through the gaps here between the Militia, between the footmen. This ghoul is going home. We have no more Stormbolts. And what else do we have? We have Militia. Militia and Footman. There's another Footman. And okay. There's a first tower. He doesn't want to let the tower go up. Because. He's almost. At tier 2. 
And of course, uh, that means he's going gargoyles. Here they are. If this tower is up, the gargoyles are not going to be as effective. Right? If the tower is not up yet, he can kill the tower and he kill everything. He can just destroy everything with, with gargoyles and just win the game. But if the tower will go up, and if it's going to be a guard tower, it's this guard tower indeed. The gargoyles won't be able to destroy everything. Also, also over here, we have a guard tower over here as well. This peasant is AFK though. He thinks he's done, guys. He's like, yeah, I finished my, my job. I built the guard tower. Now I need to rest. I need to rest a little bit for a few hours. Is he still resting? He's still resting and no one sees him resting. Look, he's hiding. He's hiding at the, you know, over here where the other peons are working. So the manager, which is melancholy, when he just overlooks his peasants, he doesn't see that idle peasant just slacking off. This ghoul is uh, dead. He wants his tower though. Here come the first two gargoyles. He needs his tower. If he can kill this tower, he can, you know, delay this expansion for so long. Does he get the tower? I think so. Yeah. And does he get the other tower? Yeah, easy peasy. The gargoyles by themselves might not do enough damage, but... Well, where are the next two gargoyles? There's one. There's another one. Four gargoyles. But the other two, I don't think they'll be here in time. Or will they? Okay, they barely will be here in time is what I meant to say. The Death Knight has a stop. Is the Bash? I don't know. And there he... Oh, he TP's out? Sure. Sure. That's uh, fine. That's fine with me. Gargoyles flying away so they don't get TP'd out. Cancels the expansion and he's gonna attack. Nice. Tower going up over there. Here comes some uh, some gargoyles killing some peasants. They killed one over there. And they're trying to kill this one as well. Does he get the kill? It is dead, guys. There's the next peasant over here. Can he get kill this peasant? He's doing his best. He's trying to kill it. Peasant is at two hit points. And the scout tower here takes a lot of damage. Can, mm, can he get it? There's so many peasants here repairing it. Masery is being upgraded. Is that level one? Yeah, level one of course because he's not tier two yet. Two more gargoyles show up. But not enough. This gargoyle dies. And well, here comes the mountain king and the footman. Are they going to play aggressive or just going to creep some more? Skeletons making sure there's no hidden towers being built over here. Right? If this uh, melancholy was really sneaky, he would have snuck like a peasant over here and built a tower and then build an expansion. But, you know, she scouted for it. So, uh, I mean, the melancholy didn't do that anyway. But at least she knows now that he didn't do that. This ogre and these trolls, they're dying. There goes one troll. This troll here is also pretty dead here. There it goes. This Ogre Magi is also dying in a moment. The Death Knight here is scouting or scouting. Creeping. That's nice. He's almost level three. Oh, he is level three. Chaco. Hello. Wake up, Chaco. He's level three. Hello. The Mount King also level three. Let's look over here. We have a nice 32 against 29 supply. What is it? 29 out of four. This uh probably a bug somehow. Here come all the gargoyles right clicking this mountain king. There's some coils as well, but the mountain king is pretty tough, guys. There's five armor a coil on the mountain king, but he's still alive. He is still alive. This footman is dead, guys. The footman is dead. Chaco, you casting for prison? <laughs> Your background, bro. Yeah, I'm casting uh, from prison, guys. I gave Remo a visit. I figured I might as well cast these games. This uh, double griffin aviary, is he going for dragon hawks? Yes, of course. Like, that's not a question. That's just a statement. Is he going for dragon hawks? It's the statement. And this illusion, this mountain king illusion, this mountain king. Stormbolt right in the face of the death knight. He has a healing potion, he should be fine. Can these gargoyles maybe kill some of these peasants? Oh, this peasant is such a juicy target. Do the gargoyles see this peasant? Yes! Ah, that just feels so good to, to kill a low hit point peasant. That's like my favorite feeling when I play Warcraft 3. When I just see a peasant like that and I just kill it. Yeah. It's so nice. Much better than killing a mountain king. Even though killing a mountain king feels good in, a, in its own way. It's a different feeling guys. A different good feeling. We have this beautiful fight here. 
Mount King used the healing potion. The gargoyle's flying over. We have a lich with the orb now. Mount King has to be careful. Orb does so much damage. Mount King it gets Novat. A lot of man money, by the way, for Melancholy. Does he also have enough lumber? Who doesn't have enough lumber, but he doesn't need that much lumber. These guys don't need a lot of lumber. Just enough. Just, bar just barely enough so he can keep building them. There are some statues. Okay. A nice play here. Everything here is going to die. And what item did he get? Potion of greater mana is of course a good, good item here. I mean, other items are also good, but this one is also good. The Tome of XP. The Lich wants it. He picks it up. He's level 2 now. Do we see Nova here? Nova on the Mountain King. And Stormbolt on the Death Knight. And here comes some Dragonhawks. But what can they do here? They're outnumbered. Hello. 2 against 6. Oh, Dragonhawks survive. Cargoes done. Kill that last Dragonhawk. Mountain King invisible. And how do you know where the Mountain King is if he's invisible? You don't. Nice Nova here on this Footman. This Footman is dead, guys. This Footman, is he going to die? He's retreating. He is dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. What do we have? Four gar uh, four Dragon Hawks. He needs more. You need at least as many Dragon Hawks as there are Gargoyles. We have six. Six Gargoyles. So, what do you want? Six Dragon Hawks. Yeah. Makes sense. He has uh, five soon. Mount King still invisible. She gets 45 supply. And we have a 39 supply for Melancholy. Did she just snipe it? No. The Ogre, the Ogre Magi is still alive. There's the fifth Dragon Hawk. Okay, is he gonna uh, shackle some of these gargoyles? GG. Okay. Did the Mountain King uh, was the Mountain King in danger? No, right? He didn't die. We have an Acolyte here. We have six we have five Acolytes over there. We have a sixth one over there. We have a, a Death Knight. That's nice. This acolyte is going, is going to scout. He's sc scouting, guys. This acolyte is scouting. USA, <laughs> USA. Of course, Melancholy is from USA. He's going Mount King first again against the Death Knight first. So, for Mother Russia, okay. Russia against USA, guys. Of course, Sheik is from Russia. And Melancholy from the USA. And that's just interesting. It's interesting. Why is it so interesting? It would have been even more interesting if Melancholy would be playing against Happy. If Melancholy becomes the next USA superstar and he, he, he gets to Happy's level. And then they will be rivals, right? So we have like USA versus Russia as rivals. And one player is named Melancholy and the other player is named Happy. Like they're the opposites. But this game is chic and um, it's chic against Melancholy, which is still interesting. There's a Stormbolt on the Renegade Wizard. Does the Acolyte... He wants the last hit. Of course, the Acolyte wants the last hit. But does he get it? No. Renegade Wizard goes down. Mount King picks up the Gloves of Haste. Does this, does, does this change, you know, his decision on what skill he gets? Because... Uh, or does it influence it? Because, you know, with the Gloves of Haste, of course, the Bash is so much better. Because you attack faster. Nice. They're done there by Yuzay. Just not attacking that uh, unit for a second. Uh, when there was over 100 uh, hit points. So the coil there. Totally missed. Totally whiffed. And there goes the skeleton. Do we have more storm bolts? There's another footman. There goes the, the sheep. Stormbolt on the death knight. And oh, this peasant takes a coil. He's dead guys. And now, he, now the death knight is surrounded. We will have to TP. This peasant is uh, dead. The death knight TP's out. Pretty late, but he killed a peasant. Hmm. Is it worth it? Hmm. One peasant for a lot of hit points. You also need to use 75 mana. I'm not sure if that was worth it. It's, instead of just TPing immediately, being at almost still full hit points, having one more mana for an extra coil. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there was a mistake by Russia. Pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Mali King killing some trolls and the ogre, of course. Uh, he's killing a lot. Lumber mill going up. Mount King picks up a nice tome. And he bashes the ogre. The troll here is dead. Mount King. Oh, this peasant, hello. 
peasant in front with minimal hit points, he dies. Just death that now, 75 XP. He just needs five more peasants and he's level two. Just, just five more peasants. Uh, coil on the ghoul, the ghoul is still alive. There goes the peasant. And he wants more peasants, he just needs four more. There's so many skeletons as well, one, pe one uh, ghoul goes down. These two towers, uh, I mean, towers, what? This is one tower, these two peasants. There goes the peasant. This peasant and this peasant. Very long hit points, he kills another peasant. This ghoul could be micro, this ghoul as well, they're both very low. And the death knight as well, by the way, I didn't even realize how low the death knight was. He needs one more, he needed one more peasant for level 2. Level 2 is kind of important, especially in a situation like this, where uh, you would be regenerating so much health with the aura, of course, and holy aura. And Mount King is uh, almost level 3, he needs 2 more XP only. One skeleton would be enough, half a skeleton would be enough. Just a skeleton's uh, shield would be enough. For level 3. Some more peasants here being built by Melancholy. He's almost level 3. Uh, wait, he went double crypt? Okay. Uh, he was probably planning to go gargoyles again. But then he realized towers up. Gargoyles won't be there in time. So he unsummons the crypt. And his stat is going for no gargoyles. This footman will be level 2, and that's nice for the Death Knight. There's not much he can do though. Yeah, skeletons. Skeletons are nice, but the, yeah, okay. Let's see what skeletons can do here. The Mountain King is, is uh, returning home though. He's almost level 3. Just one skeleton, he's level 3, guys. Can he get one skeleton? This skeleton here, for example. 14 hit points. Yeah, no deny on the skeleton. Level 3 now on the Mountain King. That's why you need to deny every unit, guys, even your skeletons. This skeleton might be the difference for level 3 or level 2 Mountain King. Here comes skeletons. So many skeletons. The expansion going up right now. Skeletons just going for the expansion. Two ghouls as well. Not going for the peasants. Uh, this ghoul here. Oh, he does get the cancel. Okay. You know, he gets the cancel. That's nice. There's a nice bash and a kill. Oh, so he does a bash. Maybe thanks to the glows of haste, he's like, okay, no need to go clap, guys. One ghoul is totally dead. The Death Knight is still beautiful. Is he going solo hero or is he... No, he has a Lich. He's getting a Slaughterhouse. He's getting another Slaughterhouse. What a game, guys. This is a beautiful game. A beautiful game. The Mount King has no more Stormbolts. But he has more Bashes and with the Gloves of Haste, so many Bashes. So... What a game. Back in the train. <laughs> what? Oh, back in the train. Okay. Welcome back, Frida Kun. Nice Stormbolt here on the Lich. The Lich is surrounded. Oh, he's not surrounded. Lich is not surrounded. And a coil on the Lich. We have plenty of Novas. But this Nova only hit one peasant. Not really a great Nova. Instead, I want to say it's... Uh, was a shitty Nova. Yeah. This ghoul though, nice bash there, nice bash, killing that ghoul, that was so nice. Good job, Thorgas, broad axe. His axe is so broad, you can't even cut anything with it because it's just so broad. And this footman takes a Nova, can he kill the footman? He's trying to, no footman survives, Then hit plus, oh, bash on the lich, but not enough to kill him. Someone's speaking over there, minus one, because the footman is killing Akalais, there's no Nerubian tower, ghouls are doing nothing. Okay, he finally realizes, hello, hello footman in the base. And this footman is doing so much damage against the Acolyte. Wait, what? Where's the fourth Acolyte? What? He only has three? He, he let two of them die? Okay, apparently he only has three Acolytes left. So he has to build two more Acolytes. Death Knight is back. He's like, hello. Okay. Lich here. He could use an orb. There's a destroyer for him. There's more, some more destroyers. Does he uh, not want more acolytes, guys? Is this a new new strategy? Three acolytes and gold. He does have the orb. He, he could use an acolyte. I'm just saying, you know, maybe... Okay, there's the acolyte. There he is, guys. Nice strategy here by uh, by Sheik. Going for more than three acolytes. I like it a lot. I didn't like the three acolyte strategy that much. But, you know, the more than three acolyte strategy is pretty good. This, uh, this foot does retreat. The statue takes some damage. My bashes, of course, we have four skeletons. 
Mount King runs around the skeletons. Oh, nice around on the on the footman by four skeletons. This footman is pretty dead. Just one hero. For uh, for melancholy, he's still at tier one, guys. He's still at tier one. He's now going to tier two. He's building towers. He has some towers over there, and his footman takes a bit of damage. Some more statues. Of course, the destroyers will be here soon, guys. The upgrade is already done, and he has two statues. He's building a third one. He has five acolytes on gold. That's nice. Let's see. We have one tower only, but the others are will be up soon. Level one masonry. He's not getting level two yet because he's not at keep yet. Shop here taking some damage with two statues. There's a there's a ghoul. There's a the mount king just you know fighting against a death knight. He uses his coil on this uh, mount king. Okay, nice fight here, footman against the death knight. Nice even match. The lich helping as well, and the stormbolt also helping. Just by uh, he's a tier two now. He can buy mana potions and healing potions. Uses uh, buys both of them. Uses a mana potion to throw an extra stormbolt on the death knight. The nova though saves the death knight, and we have a naga now. Naga now for Sheik, and the mountain king has to TP out. And death knight will be fine with the statues here, healing him back up. Does he have more statues? There's a meat wagon. Okay, he's going for meat wagons. Hello, and he's going for the meat wagon disease cloud, of course. This will help a lot, killing peons, peasants, anything that's alive, really. Mountain King is, has been spotted. The Naga, look at their movement speed. Hello, no boots of speed needed. Although the Mountain King also got a buff on the movement speed, so the movement speed, you know, has been buffed by the same amount. Although, you know, it's actually better for the Naga still because the uh, unholy aura is p movement uh, is percentage based, right? It's Ten percent. Bonus movement speed on the Naga. Nice attack there by the meat wagon on over here to make all the peasants sick. They're also sick, guys. <laughs> I need more broccoli. This is so beautiful that he's green and that this disease cloud, cloud is also green. Is that not beautiful? This is so beautiful. He makes sure that this one is also sick. Oh, what's this? A flank attack. The creeps are. Still alive there, just, but he just bought some uh, mercenaries. Koyanova on the Mountain King. Mountain King takes a lot of damage. The Death Knight is still alive. Is he? Uh, if only this Death Knight would, was level three. This Mountain King would have died already a long time, time ago. But the Death Knight is surrounded. Is he dead? Yes, and he has so much mana. Such a waste to lose a Death Knight with that much mana. Well, there goes a the Berserker though in uh, trade for the Death Knight. This uh, mid wagon just continues attacking the death knight. Is he gonna buy him back from the altar or the tavern? Two more mid wagons on the way. It seems like the skeleton is gonna buy a death knight. I'm sure he has enough money on him to buy a death knight. We have a fiend over there as well. Walking through the water even. Can I have one death knight please? Here he goes. It's only level 2 death knight. Uh, level 2 death knight. If you just buy him back from the altar. Only takes about... 70 uh, exactly actually 72 seconds to get him back which is not that long but you know oh well the lich here is surrounded uh oh if he loses the lich now the lich has the orb he could give the orb no it doesn't give the orb to a uh, second hero i mean the naga doesn't really want the orb but still it's better probably than the fossil arrow fiend goes down the ghoul goes down this ghoul also is very low hit points we have three meat wagons and two statues and two heroes and that's it for uh Sheik. But this is enough, guys. Look at all these units just dying. Just <laughs> all the peasants are dead. A lot of them, at least. She gets 45 supply. 36 here for Melancholy. Where's the Mount King? What is he doing? Oh, we have, to, by the way, two uh, Griffin Aviaries up. Is he going for Dragon Hawks? Or for Wyvern? Uh, not Wyvern. Yeah, he's going for Wyvern Kappa. Now, this is Dragon Hawk. And maybe after the Dragon Hawks, he will go for a Griffin. We have a Zeppelin here. To save his, uh, his meat wagons and his heroes. Coil on the Mount King. Buys a healing potion though. Zeppelin is saving anything he can. He doesn't have enough space to save everything. But he does have a lot of space to save a lot. Lich is back. Of course level 1 Lich only takes 36 seconds to come back. So he's back already. Here come two Dragonhawks. The Dragonhawks are... They're going for the... Uh, 
to go for the Zeppelin. There's a Naga in the Zeppelin. I'm not sure why she's in the Naga with full hit points and full mana. Like, maybe she should be helping her friends. Okay, he drops the Naga. The Lishy takes some damage and Stormbolt the Lishy's dead, guys. But this mid is doing a lot of damage, actually, to these footmen. The Dragonhawks killed one of the mid so he's down to two mid -wagons. And, you know, this footman is still alive. Is, is he going for the... Oh, do we have web? No, no web. Okay. This ogre. Can I get the ogre? He, he did this time give the orb, by the way, to the death knight before losing the lich. Or maybe it was just to, so he can attack dragon hawks. But in either case, the, the even though the lich is dead, no one cares. We have the orb here. Naga's level 2 now. And the death knight is so close to level 3. Oh, can I get the castle? Hello, meat wagons. Doing so much damage. And these peasants so on hit points. But look at this defense. I'm not sure if uh, she can can stay here. Well, he still has a Zeppelin. This guy's so on hit points. The Fiend goes into the Zeppelin, I think. Right? Or maybe not. Oh, it takes a coil. And, you know, these Dragon Hawks just killing these meat wagons. This Naga has a Forked Lightning available. He sees level 2. There's level four, 3 Death Knight now. He buys another Zeppelin. Maybe forgot about the Zeppelin. That is burning over here. There's a coil on this fiend. The fiend does go down. And, you know, this uh, dragon hawk, very low on hit points. This, this mountain king is level 5 now. Thorgas, Claudex, the level 5 mountain king. And two griffins. Oh, nice storm bolt on the naga. She's dead. And there's a zeppelin. Just, you know, dropping some meat wagons. Is she dead, guys? Is it actually melancholy that wins this? Yeah. Wow. USA guys, USA is through and we'll see Seek again next week. USA qualifies.